Hey guys and welcome. I'm gonna be doing a quick video here. It's gonna be about data explorer and being able to combine multiple files into just one large table so we can actually do more analytics, more meaningful analytics about uh, the data that we have. The actual case that I have here is basically you receive a file, a monthly file with, with all the data for one month and then at the, at the end of the year then you want to actually analyze the whole year. So you actually end up with 12, 12 files that you actually need to analyze and you need to combine all those data, all those date, all those records and all that. So we basically have here, uh, we basically have here 12, 12 files. They all have the same structure. It's basically just a table like this one. They all come in the same format, which is CSV. So we actually have all this and each file represents a month January, February, March, so on all the way down to December so we want to combine all of those files into just one master file so we can actually do analytics in a much easier faster way instead of just doing copy paste into one another also notice that if this one had one million rows then we wouldn't be able to actually combine all of them into one table or one Excel table. So what I'm going to be using is that Explorer. This actually works and will work with Excel 2010. And I'm actually be using Excel 2013. You go here to the Data Explorer Reborn. Uh, you go here to From File, choose From Folder. You actually find the folder. It's going to be open up a new window. You choose the folder. I'm going to be looking up the folder which is my sky drive and you go here then it's going to be sky drive public example click OK it's going to be showing you a new window which pretty much something like a list of all the files that you have in that folder and some other attributes of those files for example the extension uh, the date that it was created, the date that it was modified. Uh, you can click here in record and it's going to be showing you more attributes. If you see here those uh, arrows in the opposite directions, that means that they actually have more columns to show. And these are the columns that are actually hidden. Uh, binary means that you can actually click here and it's going to open up this file in this window, which is going to be looking like this. Uh, we don't want to be doing this. We want to combine all of them into one, which is basically this. So as you can see here on content, this first column, it has a double down arrow, which means combine. Now, give me just one moment. Okay. You see here, I actually have two XLSX files that are not going to be able to be combined. So what I need to do is that I need to filter those so it can actually just show the CSV and then click here. And it's going to be combining the CSV documents. Then I can, I can do some cleansing here. For example, I want the first row to be uh, my headers. But these columns here are blank and they were not supposed to be imported so I'm going to be deleting those right click here, remove columns uh, something that bugs me here is that you saw that first row wasn't a header and that happened with the other files as well so we actually have a value here rows that are actually the column headers for the other files. So we actually have 11 records with pretty much the same stuff as the headers and we want to get rid of them. So in order to actually get rid of them we need to filter this table by knowing what values we need to actually uh, filter or remove from the table. As you can see here as the list is pretty extensive but it actually shows the value that I don't want. So I can just deselect this, click OK, and that's it. Then I have the table without those rows. 
Now I'm going to be some doing some other cleansing like changing this to numeric. Change type to numeric. And also the product for numeric. And then I can actually click done. Notice that here you can actually have these steps. So if you can actually if you want to do this again some other time, uh maybe for next year or I don't know. Uh, with other set of, of files, it can be done here with the same names, of course. You click here, done, and it's going to be importing that new table here. Now, it says load to worksheet. Let's say that I don't want this here on this worksheet. I'm going to click here where it says load to data model. And I'm going to be importing this to my data model to power pivot so I can actually consume and do the reporting that I need. From here, it's all up to you. Uh, you can actually combine this with some other tables. For example, I actually have this table here, which is nothing but the uh, products table. I have here the ID, as you can as you actually saw on the other table. So we can actually do a, a relationship between those tables, uh, the ID and the product here. I can actually click here on the sign, create relationship from product to products and the ID. Once that's actually done, I can just go to home, pivot table and just play with it. Just do some more analytics, extensive analytics on this. Uh, so for example, I actually want uh, the products here, dates here and the gross sales. Now, I don't want this product, and since I actually have this here, then actually I can actually do the CD train uh, by month. And there you have it, guys. If you actually need to combine multiple files uh, with the same extension, then you can do so with that explorer. That explorer. Thank you.